Okay, so this video is gonna be a little bit different. I am Valeria Cuervo. If anybody has come from my TikTok, they probably know that lately I am trying to work to create a mini documentary series about why white supremacists are obsessed with Vikings. So I thought I would walk you guys through the process of how this little series of videos comes to be. And so the first step is finding professors to interview. So today I spent about two to three hours um, going through the internet, looking at professors that wrote articles, um, that were interviewed in documentaries, getting their emails, drafting emails to be like, hey, this is my project. Would you mind letting me interview you? And hopefully out of the 15, two will respond and be really, really nice. And I will get to interview them for my project. Okay, so right here, right now, I'm gonna be talking about the second step of making a mini documentary series. So I'm currently about 20 minutes early. I have an interview with a professor at the University of London. And so I'm gonna be asking him basic questions about Vikings. And I'm always nervous, I'm gonna be very, very late. So I always get here like 30 minutes early. Um, because I'm usually late to everything else in my life. I literally don't think I can stress how nervous I am. Like, my hand is kind of shaking, but you can't really see it because I'm holding my books. Ah! I feel like such an adult. I've got the adult fit. Well, it's not really an adult fit. I've got a sweater, which I think is pretty adult-like. A big, big-ass hoops that are on my dead grandma's for good luck. Um, which is kind of adult-like, but a different type of adult. And stockings and a skirt, which I can't see. I'm mumbling my words. This is going to be very difficult. Let me show you what I'm wearing. <laughs> very professional. <sighs> okay, so the first interview is done. So the point is, this interview was very, very helpful because it taught me very differently from the other two that it's kind of like everyone is different and I have to like learn what questions to ask and how to ask those questions depending on what type of person I'm dealing with. So he was a way better storyteller than I feel like I normally am used to. But on the other side, I had to get him to be a little bit more like comfortable to begin with. So by starting to ask like the questions that he's interested in and letting him lead just kind of worked a lot better, <laughs> which is like very, very different from like me asking straight up questions and just getting straight up answers like I did in my past interviews so brilliant it's a brilliant day so i have run into a bit of a hiccup okay this is my family we're in dubai because my grandma <laughs> my grandma she's always wanted to come to dubai and since i was already in europe it was way cheaper so i'm here in dubai which is splend freaking did except that I haven't really exactly been able to enjoy, enjoy any time in Dubai because I am stuck freaking doing an abstract. So this is my hiccup. So my hiccup is basically that I want to make documentaries. If you guys have not, oh, oh. this is just me showing you guys the background, which is pretty good too, cool. <laughs> so as you lovely folks know, I like making little mini documentary type episodes, educational episodes. I like taking the work that has already been established, already been talked about, and make it into fun educational content that everyone can comprehend. So yes, I do understand that most of the work has no part, like it's not from me. It is not original. I'm more regurgitating the information that I learn and I read about and I talk to professors about with our fancy little lingo, and I make it edible and digestible. And I love that. I really, really, really enjoy making documentary type episodes, webisodes, whatever you want to call them. I really haven't figured out a name for it. I like doing that. Now I applied for this grant to make videos about why white supremacists are obsessed with Vikings. It's a research grant. I did not realize, dumbly, stupidly, I really should have, that this research grant would be um, to research. Uh, I thought that I could just make my little documentary videos. So I've been stuck in this back and forth where this lady's like, this is not an abstract for an academic paper. And I'm like, well, I don't really know how to do that. I want to make my videos on YouTube. And she's like, well, you can make your videos on YouTube, but it has to be an academic original thought and um sometimes i think there's not an original thought in my goddamn brain so 
I'm a little bit in a mix. It's the fourth time I'm gonna be writing this abstract of trying to conceive a notion, an idea, a question that has never been asked before or answered. And for some reason, that is extremely difficult for my little brain. Uh. Okay, so we figured it out. So the research is gonna be kind of on why people misconstrue history and what we can do to like protect legacies. And we're gonna be looking at white supremacists and Viking because it is kind of interesting to note that academics, you know, people who are interested in the Viking world understand that there is a direct link between white supremacists and Vikings. But most of the people who I talk to in the everyday who know nothing about history, nothing about academia, people who are just, you know, your average, your average Joes have no idea that there is a link between white supremacists and Vikings, which is, that, that in itself is pretty, pretty interesting. So I want to talk about kind of how much of the image of the Viking that we have today has been created by a white supremacist myth and what people are currently doing to disassociate from that myth, which is very, very different all around the world, everywhere from Scandinavia, you know, we've got Norway, we've got Denmark, we've got Sweden, and even in the US. So, okay, starting the process now. Okay, so today, So what am I doing today? I'm essentially doing the exact same thing that I did for professors and I'm doing it for activists, for people who like Viking culture, Viking heritage, Viking history, might not be in the world of academia, um, but they personally feel affected by the link between white supremacists and Vikings and kind of what they're doing to dissociate from that realm. So I think I'm gonna spend about four to five hours, once again, scouring the internet finding people who are doing exactly that and emailing them and being like, hey, would you be interested? So it's currently a couple of hours later and I, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I found some pretty cool activists that are doing a lot. So there's a couple of groups that are working to formulate kind of the fallacies within the already existing white supremacist myth. Um, by looking at archaeological sites, pointing out uh, the power of women in the everyday and stuff like that, like trying to break down the toxicity. There's also people who have podcasts, like there's this podcast that Vikings are gay, um, which they, by explaining kind of why they think Vikings are gay or that there were gay Vikings, it kind of destroys them. Oh, all Vikings were straight, white, tall men, you know, like just different groups trying to point out little fallacies in each and then there's groups like Vikings Against Racism that uh, explicitly are there to be like nah we like Vikings we like Viking culture we like Viking heritage and we are not racism racist <laughs> and there's also a couple of cosplayers which you know they like dressing up as Vikings they like dressing up as knights and then every so often they gotta be like nope we're not racist please stop contacting us so sending out those emails now Okay, so with this ends the video. I hope you guys like it. I think I'll be coming up with more of these, like little just explanations of what I do and how I do these little mini documentary series. Um, it is a one woman team. I edit, I shoot, I animate, I script, I, I do everything. So I'm not gonna lie. It is, it is a lot of work, <laughs> a lot of free time, not a lay payoff, but you know, I do it for fun. So I hope you guys enjoy these. Yeah, if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe. I'm, it's early. It's early in the morning. I'm tired. <laughs> Coffee. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.